Cole with, with those last two wickets, where, where, where does that put you in the game now and how do you feel now with those wickets going into tomorrow? Um, I think we're probably still a bit behind the game, but I think those um, two wickets sort of bring us back into it a little bit. I think there's a bit of a window open for us now. Um, yeah, it would have been nice when we had them 27 for three to sort of get a couple more then. Um, but I think these two at the end sort of give us a bit of, bit of hope going in tomorrow, into tomorrow. Um, if we can start off well, then I think we'll um, be in with a chance of sort of setting something up in this game, hopefully. Uh, Tyler, you and Travis were the ones who got half centuries to be on. Do you think it's a kind of pitch where you have to show some positive intent to be able to survive and to score runs? Uh, I don't think you necessarily have to um, sort of take that approach but I think it's it's definitely an approach on this wicket that seems to have worked um, for the two of us but I mean Steve Smith also batted really nicely and he sort of looked to just take his time and, and set the game up so I think it's not necessarily a specific um, specific approach that you need to take on this wicket I feel like it's a really good uh, batting wicket to be honest um, I think uh, myself and Travis are both probably uh, quite positive um, approaching players and I think that sort of just uh, just worked today um, but yeah, I think it's a really good batting wicket and I think yeah just normal game plans should be good. Um, can I, can I, sorry can you just give us an idea um, what it was like out there you say it was a good pitch but then with the fast bowling and quality of it that we saw today both from a perspective of batting and then keeping? I think, yeah, when I say it's a good pitch, it's probably more just going on, on what it looks like. I think when you see a pitch that's so green, you probably expect it to do so much. Um, and yeah, I think this probably did a lot less than, than what we, we thought. Um, it, was, it wasn't as soft as I think we would expect with the, with the grass cover that there was. I think the wicket was actually quite firm and there was a decent amount of pace and bounce in it. So I think, yeah, when I speak about it being a good wicket, I, I mean, it's probably just better than what we expected it to be. Yeah, I think especially when we, we got bowled out for 150 odd, I think it's as much as you want to try and get the energies up, it, it is quite difficult. So when you get a wicket, um, sort of first ball of the innings, and when it's a, a big player like David Warner, I think that just lifts everyone up. And I think for the next sort of 10 overs, we carried that energy and that sort of um, yeah, adrenaline that, that we got from that, that ball, uh, we carried it through the next 10 overs and, and got those next two wickets. And I think that yeah, sort of set us up quite nicely. Um, yeah, I think unfortunately we sort of uh, fell away a bit for the next sort of 10 over period or so. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a massive moment um, in, the, in the game for us. And Kyle, um, you've obviously kept a fair bit to those quick bowlers in, um, over, over this year. How did that little session compare in terms of how they were hitting the gloves? And do you think some of them still have a bit more gas in the tank? You suggested the pitch it might quicken up tomorrow. Do you think it might fly through? Yeah, definitely. I think um, towards or definitely after lunch, it seemed to pick up a bit more pace. And then towards the end of the day, it seemed like Anas was starting to get it through quite nicely. So, yeah, I think um, it's definitely a bit, bit left in the tank for our bowlers. I think, like you said, the pitch is probably going to quicken up a little bit tomorrow if there's a bit of sun, sun out. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Um, yeah, hopefully our bowlers can, can come with a bit of energy tomorrow and, and sort of make an impact. Yeah, I think fortunately I've played a decent amount of first-class cricket and I, I bat a bit higher up the order uh, domestically. So, um, yeah, I've sort of been in, in similar situations like this in the past and, and been able to um, be reasonably successful in, in the, those situations. So, for myself, although it's a, it's a bigger stage and you, you're playing international cricket, you always have that reference point of, of having do, done it previously um, for your domestic side. So, I just look to sort of um, take confidence in that and, and stick to the approaches that I took uh, back home and fortunately today it sort of uh, went okay so yeah. You, uh, you mentioned the significance of the one wicket there. Um, Rivada seems to relish those battles with big players. Um, is that something that he really takes on? Yeah I think with KG he's someone that um, you know he always sort of targets the big players. I think he's one of those guys. Um, I don't know what the stats are but I, I reckon he's probably probably gets the He's probably got the highest percentage of getting the top three or four batters out uh, against everyone that he plays. I think that's something that he's, he's really good at. Um, he's, our, he's our main bowler, obviously. And yeah, if we need someone to sort of crack a game open or, or get the, the opposition's big name players out, he's always the guy we look to go to. Um, something that he loves doing and he does it really, really well. Uh, 
a car that obviously has been a fair bit of dis discussion about about the batting um, and, and collapses that have happened sort of in, in recent times. So ha what was sort of a feeling when you come off after an innings like that as a team, knowing that you probably haven't quite put the runs on the board that you would like to? Um, I think the initial feeling is probably a bit of disappointment, but then you sort of look around in the change room at our four quicks and our spinner that you have, and I think everyone sort of gets excited again and thinks, oh, well, we've got 150 on the board, that might actually be enough with what we've got in the change room. So I think that's sort of the, the space that we're in at the moment, that's the approach we're looking to take. Um, obviously, as bad as we need to be better, um, but I think with our bowling lineup that we have, I think, to be honest, any score that we get, there's, there's a bit of belief that, that our bowlers can do a job um, with, with what's on the board.